This month's Jefferson Award winner is using his hobby of welding to give back to his community in Sparta. News 19's Heather Armstrong introduces us to uh, the man who's melding those two things together. Noah didn't build the ark in a day. The pyramids wasn't built overnight. You gotta do the work, put in the time. Jason Hauser puts his time and energy into making the town of Sparta a better place. You can see his sculptures around town and in his front yard. Got a little boogie in them. Everybody thinks, you gotta be an idiot to volunteer all your time like this. But it makes you feel so good inside. When you do a small project that your whole community can appreciate and get behind, it makes you feel like the king of the world. But Jason hasn't always felt on top of the world. When he was 18, he was arrested. Then, while on work release, he got in a traumatic industrial accident. I went into a grand mal seizure and my brain swole up and I actually died. They threw me in an ambulance, tried to get me to lacrosse, see if they could revive me. They were successful the first time and things happened and I died again. Revived me the second time and when I come to, all my family's around me. And the doctor said, say goodbye to everybody. Jason lost 30% of his brain, but he didn't let that stop him. He saw it as a blessing. You've seen stories of people that said they've died, right? What all do they see? this big, bright, welcoming light. I didn't see anything. So I figured that was God showing me, it's time to make a change, man. You gotta do something different, you're going down the wrong road. He had to kill me twice to get me to see it. With a newfound perspective, Jason decided to start giving back. This all be here. He's currently working on a community memorial project to put in front of the courthouse to remember those lost by drug overdose deaths. A rock garden to put names of those lost and a sculpture of someone who has just overdosed. Teresa Hansen met Jason through the drug court program when she was still an active drug user. Just like an addiction, it's a lot of like, you think you're old, broken, just garbage to people, and not really, he turns it into something beautiful. Jason's helping Teresa with her memorial project. He's the kind of guy, though, that mid-interview started writing a check to fully fund her project. How much money have you raised so far? Um, I believe it's 75. <laughs> uh, we just started, but yeah. here's the rest of it. No, really? Are you serious? Nope. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> oh it's gonna be a god. cool project, man. Having fun while giving back is important to Jason because, in his opinion, Volunteers are essential workers. When the volunteers stop, everything stops. But not Jason. He'll continue to do the work to make our community a better place for everyone. Give us priceless moments like that. Now, if you know someone in the community who goes above and beyond serving others, you can nominate them for a Jefferson Award by going to our website, wxw.com slash Jefferson awards, where you can fill out an online application.